If you plan on cold weather camping, then a good understanding of options for keeping the RV warm is imperative. There are several types of heaters that RVers utilize to do the job. Back in the day, older campers used radiant or gravity heaters. Another option is an aftermarket catalytic heater like a Mr. Heater Buddy. If you use one of these devices, it's important to note that although there is not an open flame, combustion still occurs. And remember, where there is combustion, there is carbon monoxide. Keep a window cracked or a vent open and never leave one of these heaters on when you go to sleep. High-end motor coaches will see the hydronic heat systems like the Aquahot or Oasis, which serve as a water heater and furnace. The rest of us have the forced air furnace, which is what we will cover in this course. Here are the parts we will learn about in this section. Thermostat, return vent, floor registers, exterior exhaust vent. The forced air furnace operates on 12 volts DC and propane. 12 volts DC is required for the thermostat controls and it also powers the blower fan. So keeping that coach battery charged is important. When you select heat or furnace at the thermostat, a process begins to activate several of the safety features of this appliance. The thermostat signal tells the furnace fan to get up to proper speed before the next step. A device called a sail switch will confirm that the fan is at a proper speed before activating the propane ignition sequence. Once that is confirmed, the propane ignition process is underway, and when successful, that flame is warming up an internal burn chamber within the furnace appliance. Note that the air that moves in and out of the burn chamber where combustion is taking place in the furnace will exhaust to the exterior of the RV. So that means the exhaust vent on the sidewall exterior of the RV is hot. Do not touch that vent while the furnace is in use. The air that moves in and out of the burn chamber where combustion takes place exhausts to the exterior of the RV, taking carbon monoxide with it. The air that comes into the ductwork in the RV is being warmed by the exterior of the burn chamber and does not mix with that combustion air. And another important note, that means the exhaust vent on the sidewall of the exterior of the RV is hot. Do not touch that vent while the furnace is in use.